Russell, thanks for coming out to the clinic. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, underwater here, we're going to take a look. Uh, one thing I want you to first notice here is you're over-rotating your shoulders. And you can see your hips are rotating uh, quite a bit also. But you want to think about flattening out your shoulders and letting the hips continue to roll. So when your arms are going in the water, uh, you're pressing your armpit sort of down. And that armpit should, should be pressed forward or extended forward at that point. So you can see how you're right there, you're pressing it down, down. So at that point, you want to extend force. So you want to flatten the shoulders, almost like you're reaching up into a tree to pull an apple out. You want to rotate and extend forward instead of just rotate. So it's a trick to do that. You have to sort of separate the hip uh, rotation from the shoulder rotation. So you want to flatten that out. You can do some heads up freestyle, which helps you flatten out the, uh, the shoulders. You got to make sure you keep the head still. Other thing is you're breathing behind yourself. It's, you're really looking real far behind. It's causing you to overreach a little bit uh, with that right hand. The third thing is notice uh, the position where your hands are when you're pulling. You're starting your pull. You're pushing the water down to the bottom of the pool, and you're not getting your catch until about halfway through the pull. And remember, your catch is the point in which your elbow is up over the hand, and you start pulling back. See how your hands are pressing the water down? At the bottom, that may be why if, you're, if you get tired up on your shoulders instead of in your lats, uh, that's, that's showing me you're pushing the water down. So you want to make sure you're getting your catch uh, a lot earlier or getting a catch and before you start pulling back. So don't press up the hand down. Try to scull it out, bring the elbow up over the hand, and then pull straight back. Remember, you're pulling, not pushing on the water. Now you're above water, you can see how you're looking back behind you when you're breathing right there. All right, and if you look on the, the, the left arm, the elbow's a little behind you. You'll see it more as you go back down the pool. But uh, the idea, you're, you're getting your elbows and up high, your hands are a little above them, which I think is fine. But you can see how you're sort of, you can see you're breathing back behind here, and then you're getting that, uh, you're pulling too far behind you with the left arm. You let the hand sweep up the hip when you finish the stroke. So as you pull back through, instead of letting the hand follow the hip as it rotates up, sort of sweep it out to the side. So you want to finish out to the side and swim a little bit wider. All right, well, I hope that helps. Best of luck.